If it was, if it was like a square, we would um add and more to make it like a more square. Like more and more to it. And like a rectangle, is you just add two more, like the multiplication sentence. Add two more. Add a multiplication. So I, I'm not understanding what you're saying. So take okay. take off those okay. four. Okay. There's a square right uh -huh. here. And we, what do you know about that square? It has two sides. It has four sides total. And if 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 why are those four sides important? Because it's there's there's the area and there's the perimeter. The perimeter is the outside of the shape, the outside of all the sides, and the um the area is inside all the squares. Okay, so show me the perimeter of this shape. That's the, all of this is the perimeter, okay. and the area is that 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 that. So what's the area of that shape? The four. area of that is four. The area is four? Uh-huh. Okay, how'd you get four? Because this is the area, this is the area, this is the area, and this is the area. Okay, all right. Count by twos. Okay, so you counted by twos. All right, show me the next part that you were saying. And if we add two more, so now the area is six. And how do you know that? Because you add two more to four, and it equals six. Okay. And then, what else did and you guys discover? We put two more, and then we put two more, and two more, and two more, until we got to the end of it. Until we used all of the, the squares we could use. And then, we turned it into a rectangle, mm -hmm. and then we did the same thing again. And if it was a square, we'd just do that. We okay, more. So, so what's the area of this rectangle? The area of this rectangle is six. Okay, and what's the perimeter? The perimeter is nine. Nine. Is there a faster way for you to figure that out? Yes. What's a faster way? Two. There's two perimeters. Two perimeters. Two plus two equals four. And three plus three equals six. And four plus six equals like we did it. Twelve. 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 Six. Okay. Uh, okay, do, do it the first way when you were counting all the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then do it the way that you, the faster way you six would Six plus six equals twelve, plus four equals sixteen, or ten. 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 Okay, you said six plus six equals twelve, and plus four equals ten? Plus two, plus two equals ten. Okay, start over, start over. Say it one more time. Six. Where's six? Where's six? Six. Six. six That's plus six. This right here is six. This is here. This is six. This is six. six you agree six with that? Equals twelve. And then so two. show me the six. Count it one by one. One. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So is this one side three. six? That that one side is three. Oh, I get it. Okay, I see what three you're saying. Three and three equals six, mm -hmm. then two and two equals ten. Did you guys figure that out by yourself or did your teacher tell you? We figured, we it, figured out it out by That's ourselves. That's awesome. So how does it make you feel to figure out something like that by yourself? I feel normal because I do that all the time. Oh, that was, but it, it was great that your teacher didn't tell you. You told your teacher that, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she shared with me that she didn't think about that strategy. What else did you guys learn as you were discovering with this today? Uh, we learned about our area and the perimeter and um, we did a little bit of algebra. L divided by, I uh, mean, L, L times, times W equals A because the A is the area, the L is the, the length, L is and the, the w, w is the width. Okay, so you guys learned that algebra today. Can you apply that algebra that you just learned to this rectangle right here? Yes. Where would be, where's the L and where's the W? The L would be here, the width would be here, and then the area would be there. So what's the, the L? Area e the L is the length. So tell me how much the L is. The, the length is three square inches, and the the, the width is two, two centimeters, or two square inches. Two, okay. And so the area is? Six. Six. And how'd you figure that out? Because 
the, the, the amount of squares you use is the, always the area. area. Okay. And what's that algebra thing that you just told me? You the, said it was the L times, times W equals A. Equals a. The length plus the L the length, length times, times the, the width, width equals, equals the area. area. Okay. So when I look at this, if you tell me that the length is three, the length is so three. I can take three and multiply by the width, which is two, two. and that's gonna give me the area? Yes. Which, which is, is what? Six. Six. Does, does that match the number of squares you have there? The six matched yes. the number? It does. Because mm -hmm. three times two equals six. Right, and you have six squares there, don't you? are just you? using letters. You're just using letters. That's really cool. So you guys are in third grade and you're learning all of this algebra stuff. Mm -hmm. And you I've discovered that on your dying. own. I've been dying. I've been dying to know algebra. And now I know algebra. I've been dying to learn chemistry. Okay. Chemistry. I love, I love you history. You love history. Thank you for sharing, guys. Geometry.